I just had the best sleep that I've had in a real long time. <laughs> and that it is 8 o'clock on a Saturday and I'm gonna vlog this weekend because there is some exciting stuff, some cool stuff happening but also this is like my warm-up, my practicing, getting back into the swing of things. From Tuesday next week for two weeks there's something really awesome happening which I'm gonna vlog. I'm probably already talking about it on my Instagram by the time this comes out. So if what I'm talking about you're like what is she on about? You should probably go and follow me on Instagram. They'll probably be the first to know about it. I'm just getting my vlogging skills back. Just, yeah, just back. Clearly, I have some work to do. I'm gonna go and make myself some breakfast and a cup of tea and come back and put myself, what, what am I trying to say? I'm gonna bring it back and eat it in bed while doing my quiet time. And then we're gonna crack into the day. I need to actually check my phone to see what's happening today. Okay. Great. What is happening today? I now know. First things first, we're gonna get ourselves ready for the day. Then I need to go and get my suitcase out of the attic and uh, do some packing, which I just realized by the time we finish this video, you're gonna know exactly what this exciting thing is that's happening. So I might as well just tell you now. I'm going to Fiji on Tuesday for two weeks. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. The thought of being warm right now, can't really get my head around it. And then at one o'clock, I'm going with Ash and Sage to watch It Ends With Us. I didn't think I was gonna get a chance to watch it before I went away. Everyone's been hyping it up. It's like one of my favorite books of all time. And then I need to come home from that and just do a little bit of life admin stuff. I got my financial statement back from my accountant, so I need to like go through that and like pay my bills, which makes me <laughs> wanna cry. And then I, this is like giving 2022 email. I have a new product that's coming out. <laughs> Doing a rerun of the church notes books, which you guys know about, I've been talking about it. I've got a quote and stuff. I just need to like finish the design and send it off to the company to have it made. And then tonight, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain this. Taylor and I are going to this thing. I don't even really know what to expect, but it's called the barn dance. I think it's just a night of like line dancing and like, I don't, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Taylor was telling me about how she was going. I'm like, have fun. And then like two days later, she's like, yeah, so my Nana got you a ticket as well. And I was like, okay. We both have two left feet, so. It will actually be fun. That's my day today, but I need to go and get ready. Oh, those birds are pain actors. I bought this bread last week instead of the bread I normally get because this was like a quarter of the price. And look how many slices it comes with. This is such good value for money. Back in bed, toast, a nice big cup of tea. Cheers. Mm, good toast. And today we are reading 1 Samuel 25. It's time bag. This poor suitcase. I've only had it for like not even two years and on our recent trip to Sydney it went through it. Um, I don't know what creative activity the baggage handlers were up to but this whole wheel looks like it's about to crack off so love that. I've started a list of things I think I want to take but the list is really long and I know that my bag will not fit everything. I'm a chronic overpacker and this time on this trip I'm just gonna try and do better. There is also a very special guest that is going to be accompanying me for part of the trip to Fiji and every day for the past like 40 days I've been sending them a photo of Fiji because they've never been before and so every single morning I have a reminder that goes off to send them a photo. This was this morning's photo, let me show you. It's this photo from Mana Island. Absolutely stunning! God seriously took his time when he was putting together Fiji and it is beautiful. <laughs> Let's go! This is bad. Like, worse than I thought it was gonna be. Let me show you what we're starting with. 11 dresses, 5 full sets of activewear, 2 pairs of sunnies, 5 caps, 5 pairs of togs or swimmers if you're Australian. Two pairs of pants, and yes, they are the exact same thing. Two skirts, seven pairs of shorts, two jumpers, and 13 tops. This is more than enough clothes to last me a whole summer, let alone just 12 days. This is dire. I need to now be ruthless. Let's endure the process of reducing this down together. Start with the dresses. The thing about dresses in Fiji is they're great because you just, well, they're great in general because you don't have to coordinate a top and a bottom half. It's just all done for you. We'll do yes, maybe, and no. Make 
actually fit way better than I thought. I've got my airport outfit picked out as well. Hacking cubes save the day yet again. Dresses and tops, hoodie, stack of books, caps, togs, activewear, bottoms, and then they'll be like my socks and stuff. I have to fit this in there too. I did a little bit of shopping for Malika, who's my friend over in Fiji. I bought her some dresses and some like shoes and stuff. So I think I want to put them in this bag for her. Success. I am very happy with this. Fit. Oh, I have to fit shoes in here too. There's enough packing for this vlog. <laughs> Outfit change because we are off to the movies. I'm going to, it's actually a new movie theatre which only opened like I want to say like within the last month. It's in Takanini and it's called Silky Otter. I wasn't too sure if I'd get away with like, the tights and a hoodie combo so we've settled for this because it's still so comfortable but just looks a little more classy. And I'm actually really nervous. Like this, I've been waiting for this movie for like two years. Let the phone vlogging commence. <laughs> This is so fancy. Movie's done. What, do you, what would you rate out of 10? I reckon an 8.5. Yeah, I was gonna say 9. We've both read the book and after it finished, we turned to each other. We were crying for starters, but we were like, that was so like similar to what we were expecting from the book, which is cool. Because you had tissues, I was like, oh, I've asked you for a tissue. <laughs> yeah. I thought, because I thought you would have asked me, and I was like, surely I'm not just sitting here like crying. So and you're, you're fine. Because there was one point where I was crying, and then you laughed at something, and I was like, oh. I was like, maybe Emma's in a completely different movie to me. Because I was like, so sad. The cinemas were so good as well. Like we were just saying that I don't know if I'll be able to go back to a normal cinema ever again because it was just so nice. Really good. comfy seats, like all the seats were recliner seats. And it was only 21, I went, because I'm still a student, I went on $21.50. So cheap. Yeah. Well, not cheap, but like same price as a normal cinema. I'm home and just about mentally recovered from that movie. So many of the scenes were like exactly how I'd pictured it when I was reading it and I was like, wow. It is 5.30, I'm about to have some dinner and then I'm heading off to the barn dance with Taya. I just rang her, I'm like, bro, what are you wearing? Like, I don't really know what to expect apart from I'm gonna be doing some dancing. I cannot dance. This is my outfit though. I'm wearing the same top half that I wore to the movies and I just put on some jeans. Okay, dinner's ready and it smells phenomenal. We're having sweet and sour chicken, so let's go. Yum. What's for dinner? Cashew nut. <laughs> Taylor is here, so let's go and do some dancing. Everyone walking in has cowboy boots and cowboy hats, and I have none of the above. I am home from the line dancing. Confirmed, I do have two left feet. I want to say I didn't know what I was doing, but they literally had someone up there demonstrating in front of us. And I'd like to think I can follow instructions. My brain was comprehending what was uh, what I was seeing in front of me, but my body just wasn't cooperating. It was, it was so funny and fun. Would I do it again? Probably. Honestly, probably. I feel like it's gonna be something that Taylor and I just talk about for the rest of our days. Like, remember that time we went like dancing together? I uh, need to go to bed because I have to get up at five for church because I'm serving. And normally I wouldn't, like I don't have to be there till eight, but I need to pick up Taylor on the way. And I'm also gonna curl my hair because I'm seeing my Nana tomorrow. And I know you're gonna be watching this Nana and I know you like my hair to be curled. So I'm gonna curl my hair just for you, Nana. I need to go to sleep. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, good morning. Can you guys hear the rooster crowing? The rooster arrived at one of my neighbor's houses in like January and back at the start of the year it was like the main character of my vlogs. It's been here the whole time. I was expecting it to be around for a few weeks and then kill it and use it for food but they haven't so it's still crowing every single morning. I got up this morning and I've curled my hair and it looks insane right now like it needs to just drop please. 
I did it this morning because I knew that I wanted it to look good for this afternoon when I'm seeing my nana, but <laughs> picking up Taya, I have to leave home at quarter past seven to pick her up. Normally on a weekend, I would not even entertain the idea of getting up at 5 a.m., but because I know that I literally need work tomorrow and then I'm on holiday for two weeks, I'm like, <laughs> I'm all 5 a.m. wake up, like it's not gonna hurt me. My latest thing is that I have <laughs> downloaded Duolingo because I'm pretty sure I've decided I am gonna go, well the rest of the family's going is really up to me whether or not I wanna join them to go to Japan next year. I need to get back on the Japanese train. Sun's coming up, fit is on. Yes, I'm wearing the exact same thing I wore last night. I often do that on a Saturday. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll wear this. And I wear it, I'm like, what should I wear to church tomorrow? I'm like, oh, I'll just wear the same thing. So that's what we're doing, but oh my goodness. It is going to be a stunning day. So let's go and praise the Lord. Is that he came that they may have life and have it to the full. Hello, I'm home from church. I've changed my pants. Oh, that was my zip. <laughs> this morning, church. Amazing, such a good message. It was t entitled Why Jesus and he used such a good analogy Which I'm going to share with you guys now because I love a good analogy He used Microsoft as the example, but I'm an Apple girly, so we're gonna use Apple instead So for example, say you buy a MacBook, iPhone, whatever You buy it, you read the instruction manual, you go to use it and you break it You read the instruction manual, but you still you still end up breaking it You contact their customer service and Steve Jobs answers the phone I'm just now realizing this is a really bad uh, analogy because Steve Jobs is dead. He used Microsoft because Bill Gates is still alive. Anyway, you call and Steve Jobs answers the phone and he's like, hey, what's like, what's the problem? Like, what's going on? And you're like, this is my problem. And they're like, no worries, we'll send someone out to you. They'll come, they'll look at your laptop, they'll look at your MacBook and they'll sort it out. A couple days goes by, knock at the door, you open the door, Steve Jobs is there. Not only has he helped you over the phone, but he has come himself to your door, to your house to help you solve your problem and it was like such a good analogy for god jesus the bible like you are given the bible the instruction manual you still mess it up because we're not perfect but that's okay because god's only prayer away and jesus came to earth in human form to save the day quite literally but i just thought it was a really cool analogy i really didn't explain it as succinctly as he did this morning but you get the idea we're now going to have lunch with my cousins and my like, Fano's come down for Whangarei. I won't take my cameras with me because I don't want to put my little cousins on the internet. I'll check in with you guys when I get home, which I have no idea when it's going to be. Also, my curls have dropped so perfectly. Nana is going to be so very impressed with me. Hey friends, it is 8pm. Been home for a while actually. I just had to, I was serving today, I didn't get a chance to just sit down with a notebook. So I wrote my notes in my phone. So I transferred them over into my church notes book. But on the church notes books, I am also right now, I have my laptop in front of me. And I'm designing the next church notes book. That's probably really overexposed. Let me just turn the brightness down for you. Currently designing the new church notes book. I have decided to go for a cream and sage like color combo. I've done like this color before and I've done like kind of like this color actually with white before. That was the OG design back in 2020. This was the 2022 edition. This is going to be the 2024 edition. I'm so excited with how the colors have turned out. They're so cute. So how the book works is it has obviously the front cover which just has a cross and says church. So that's going to be like cream and then the cross and the church will be like the sagey color and then on the inside cover it has a verse which this one is second timothy 1 7 so god has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity but of power love and self-discipline and my verse for the new one is going to be matthew 19 26 jesus looked at them and said with man this is impossible with god but with god all things are possible on each of the pages first little box has space for the speaker the date the message and then like 12 lines for putting down bible verses that they quote and then it has all this space for writing notes and at the bottom it has a little reflection box so it has prayer points and next steps i am hoping to get these sent off to print like next week probably they will be up and ready and available soon if you want one follow my instagram keep an eye out on my stories i'll post it on there when they're available and you can just slide into my dms and order one because i don't have a website anymore my dinner is ready and i'm so hungry because it is 10 past 8 also yes i 
came home and got straight into my PJs and put a hoodie on because I had been wearing the same outfit since six o'clock this morning. Yay. <laughs> Mine is the superior one because I don't have olives and I don't have anchovies. Yes, you're not mature enough. My taste buds are still that of a 12 year old. Yes. Pizza and hash brown bites. Yum. And it is bedtime. I'm so tired, but I'm also like, I literally have one day of work tomorrow and then I'm on holiday for two weeks. So it's really not that bad. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along with me this weekend. I feel like I'm warmed up. I'm ready to vlog for the next two weeks. I'm still unsure about how I'm going to go about vlogging Fiji because I don't want to vlog the whole 12 days because it's going to be like the same thing day in, day out. Maybe on the days I'm doing something different outside the box, we might vlog those days. Just expect some vlogs, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe. Stay well. Jesus loves you. And I will see you in Fiji! I'm gonna go, oh my gosh, this is why I need to practice. I'm just a girl.